I want to make things very clear at the beginning of this video. This is a conversation about the New Jersey Devils. I get it, there are some Vancouver and Montreal ties that we can bring into this conversation, but this is a Devils video through and through, because yesterday we saw ourselves the Devils absolutely take it to the Winnipeg Jets, beating them 4-1 to and dominating in the shots on goal category. You can see it right here on the screen. The Devils had 41 shots to Winnipeg's 19, the 4-1 to result in favor of Jersey. And if you go over to the goals, this is where things get very, very interesting. Because getting things started in the second period, Jack Hughes made it 1-0 off a power play goal assisted by Nico Hischier and brother Luke Hughes. Shortly after, you had Nikolai Ehlers, who tied things up at 1-1, assisted by Mark Shifley and Dylan DeMello. But in the third period, this is where the game really opened up for New Jersey, with two straight power play goals scored by Nico Hischier and Jack Hughes, both of which were assisted by Timo Meyer and Luke Hughes. And then you had Timo Meyer on the empty net, assisted by Eric Haula and Nico Hischier. If you go over to the box score, take a look at what the Devils were able to do in this one. Hey, Nico Hischier, Timo Meyer, each had three points, Jack Hughes had two goals, and if you go over to defenseman, Luke Hughes, number 43, had himself three assists, all of which were on the power play. Not to mention Jake Allen, who only let in one shot on the 19 total that he faced with a 947 save percentage in this Devils victory. Now, you know from the title, you know from the thumbnail, today we are talking about these two guys right here, Jake Allen and Luke Hughes. Because when it comes to the youngest Hughes brother of the three, Luke ended up getting assists on Jack Hughes's power play marker twice, and then Nico Hischier's power play marker as well giving him this record. Here's the tweet from Christy Flannery. Luke Hughes collected his third power play assist of the game and became the first rookie defenseman to achieve this feat since his brother Quinn Hughes did so on November 21st, 2019. Now, if you wanted to see that game, here it is. 6-3, Vancouver win on November 21st, 2019. First star of the game, Jacob Markstrom with 45 saves, but if we go over to the Quinn Hughes points, he had an assist on Elias Pettersson's power play goal, he had an assist on Brock Besser's power play goal, and then he had another assist on Bo Horvat's power play goal. Man, the Canucks power play absolutely torched the Preds in this game. Look at that, is that five power play goals from Vancouver? Yeah, it is, and a shorthanded empty net goal too. That's crazy. Man, I cannot wait to revisit the post-game video I made about this game back in 2019. But, with this in mind, Quinn Hughes had himself that record of being one of the only rookie defensemen to get three power play assists in a game, only to be matched by Brother Luke five years later. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to go out there and look at these two guys, just kind of compare and contrast how their seasons and careers have gone, because Luke Hughes, in his rookie campaign as an NHL defenseman, has 38 points in 70 games played. He's on pace for about 44 over a full 82, which is actually really good, honestly. Like, I guess it, you could say, oh, Quinn Hughes had a lot more points in his first season. Look at that. Quinn Hughes had 53 and 68 games played. If you do the math, 53 divided by 68 multiplied out by 82, that's a 63-point pace. I get it, you know. Luke Hughes isn't really producing as much as brother Quinn, but you gotta look at it circumstantially. Quinn Hughes, when he was on Vancouver in his first season, he was like the only good player on the blue line. He was paired with Luke Shen, for crying out loud. Meanwhile, if you go over to the Devils lines and you see where the rest of this team's decor looks like, hey, take a look at the other pairings they've got over here. It wasn't always like this. You know, you look at Luke Hughes, first pairing guy, he's playing with Nick DeSimone, he's getting the first power play time, but if you look at some of the guys that are missing, hey, Dougie Hamilton, IR, Jonas Siegenthaler, Day to Day, John Marino, out. These guys are all like legitimately good defensemen, and they filled out spots on this Devils defense core that prohibited development time for guys like Luke Hughes. He hasn't been relied upon in a number one defensive role for a good chunk of the season, which is why when you take a look at Quinn, I mean, Quinn was. Quinn was the guy when he stepped into Vancouver right away, which is kind of where a lot of these points came from. Luke, unfortunately, did not have that luxury since the very beginning of the year. 
Now, of course, as his career goes on, we'll expect a little bit more out of him in that respect, but he's only 20 years old right now, so he'll be fine. Luke Hughes realistically has a much better chance at becoming a top defender out of this group of guys than most of them. Like, he'll be better than Brendan Smith, Ball, Hataka, DeSimone, of course. I mean, they're only really dealing with this because of all the injuries. And Simon Nemec, of course, is going to give everybody a run for their money when he breaks out and he becomes as good as he can be. Luke Hughes and Simon Nemec on the top pairing in the future sounds absolutely deadly. But seeing Luke Hughes go out there and set a record that has only been matched by his brother Quinn in the past five years, yeah, that's pretty poetic, and I like to see that, of course. And for Devils fans, they've all been super excited to see what Luke Hughes has been capable of, because paired alongside brother Jack, I mean, there really isn't a definable ceiling here, considering the fact that Jack is already a 100-point pace caliber guy. Do the math over here, let's do 67 divided by 54 multiplied out by 82. Yeah, Jack Hughes over a full 82-game campaign would have been on pace for 101 points, similar to what he had last year. So... Jack has already formed himself into an NHL player full-time, Luke is on his way, and Quinn Hughes seems to be the benchmark when it comes to records and numbers. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you're a Canucks fan. How do you feel about seeing Luke Hughes doing his thing? But of course, we also have another conversation that I wanted to talk about in this video because not only did Luke Hughes go out there and do some pretty good things on the score sheet, but you also had Devils goaltender Jake Allen post up a 947 save percentage, which is so good because if you take a look at Allen's record with New Jersey, You'll see that he's got a 946, a 944, a 947, and a 947 save percentage in the first four games that he has had. The reply says, have we had four consecutive games above 900 this season prior to this? And then there was a string by Nico Dawes. He had some good performances with 938s and 964s, etc., etc. But... Hey, the Devils have been used to such crappy goaltending the entire year that this right here, this Jake Allen stint, yeah, the guy is really putting on a show. This is the fourth best amongst New Jersey Devils goaltenders through their first four starts in franchise history, with the Mackenzie Blackwood story having a 972 save percentage in his first four games. Allen's is at a 946. For those curious, Martin Brodeur's was an 897, and he turned out pretty good. Here is the Jake Allen game log. The funny part is, when he was acquired by New Jersey in the first game against Dallas, he let in like the first two shots on goal or something like that. It was really bad and a lot of people were kind of freaking out because, hey, wait a minute, the goalie that we got isn't stopping any gosh darn pucks. What's going on here? But then he quickly redeemed himself, stopped the next 35 shots pretty much, and had a 946 save percentage. Against Vegas, he stopped... 34 out of 36, so he had a 944 there. And then against Pittsburgh and Winnipeg, just some crazy saves going on here by Jake Allen. I mean, the stop on Crosby was very, very good. And then yesterday, he had a really nice save on Kyle Connor, I think it was, who swung the puck at him baseball style. Jake Allen has just been so reliable and so good in net that all of a sudden, all the doubt that we had about him coming over from Montreal to New Jersey, it seems to be gone. The guy had an 892 save percentage in Montreal this season, and now his numbers have halved. His goals against average has pretty much halved, and his save percentage has increased by 0.5%. 0.05, excuse me. It's been so good here for Jake Allen in New Jersey. But of course, there is a conversation as to whether or not this is going to be sustainable. Devils fans, though, I'll say, they don't really care. Here's a thread made on the R Devils sub by Shaw Trudai. So happy for Jake Allen. I'm a Habs fan, and I'm still appreciating of his services. He was a locker room gem and a role model. I'm not sure if you guys agreed for that trade. Getting a second would have been great for us, but having his awesome stats so far is refreshing. Having a better team in front of him certainly helps exposing his underrated talent. Good luck for the playoffs, and I'll join the bandwagon for him and your club. Top Reply says, yeah, based off of his play, we wish we would have made this trade back in January. Here's another Habs fan showing appreciation. I'm so glad that the small sample size notwithstanding, he's had a chance to shine. It broke my heart to see him getting torn to shreds in the sub when the trade happened. I'd love to see him make all the naysayers eat their words. He deserves it. Great player, greater human. Sorry, Devils fans are a little extra bitter right now because this season was such a letdown, but Jake Allen looks great and this trade should have been done months ago. Hopefully he can spark a heater and drag us into the postseason. And then there are a lot of other commenters saying, yeah, like, Jake is pretty good. 
playoffs are possible. We'll see. We'll see. But at the end of the day, this is a very, very good acquisition for the New Jersey Devils. I want you to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Jake Allen trade, how everything is shaping up for the Devils with goaltending ever since then. As well, if you're a Hughes guy, what are your thoughts on the Luke Hughes power play assist record matching his brother Quinn Hughes in last night's game against Winnipeg? Thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.